Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon wherever you are this Sunday in uh, East Africa and to those of us, my friends from other parts of the world. You know, it could be in the it could be night, but we thank God. I hope everything is gonna be right, and we bless the Lord because of your life. So today, I want us to speak about something. Something is something that we is concerns about what is happening in this country today, and uh, this is concerning about demonstrations that have been all over the all over Kenya, and uh, I must admit that this demonstration have terrified the Kenya Kwanzaa regime, and it is support base. And uh, but uh, so when demonstrations were happening all over, I think yesterday and the other days, the government of William Ruto has warned as mayor that it won't allow demonstrations going forward. But uh, today, uh, the Right Honorable Raila Odinga had a press conference, and this is this is a statement that I want to read to you, uh, my fellow listeners and group and members of this group and before i do that please it is my request that if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that so that next time we produce a video like this you'll be automatically be notified and for those who of those my subscribers i want to continue thanking you brothers and sisters for your continued support because you are the ones who are making this channel to grow Please, I humbly ask you to consider clicking that subscribe button if you haven't done that. So welcome to the press release. This was on July 15, 2023. And this is the statement it reads. Those killed and arrested by Ruto Amatayas and political prisoners. We are yet again in the thro in throes of, lib of a liberation struggle. This time we are struggling to be liberated from politics of deceit, corruption, dictatorship, and arrogance. Kenyans have never lost a liberation struggle. We got beaten, we got beaten, arrested, and killed, but we never lose. In the past, we have suffered detention without trial, police brutality, and even a totally compliant judiciary, and still we did not lose. We shall not lose the one currently underway. Police killings during protests have happened in the past. Almost always, those shot are innocent Kenyans not involved in demonstrations. These killings are meant to spread fear among Kenyans so that they succumb to the excesses of the regime. Unfortunately, this time round, it is not just the official security officers that are being unleashed on Kenyans. Kenya Kwanzaa has embedded, has embedded a trained killer squad in the name of Operation Support Unit into the official security agencies and unleashed it on Kenyans. Also, as it is fondly referred, now under a Mr. Zakari Kariuki, was disbanded a few years ago, and it is members sent home, the squad is back. Last Wednesday, also was in action in Kamkunji, Jogo, in Kamkunji, Jogo Road, and in Mlolongo, firing at protesters and killing some. Osu's main brief is to hurt and execute Azimio leaders and protesters. It is the squad Ruto is counting on Kusafirisha Azimio leaders as Mr. William Ruto won. We will soldier on, arrest trumped up charges, Illegal detentions and incarcerations have happened in the past. 
We have always remembered the victims as the heroes of our liberation. We remember heroes like the late George Anyona, Edward Oyugi, Ngodo Kariuki, and Njeru Gavengu, who was jailed, who were jailed on trumped up charges. We remember Koigi Wamwere, who was numerous times arrested, detained, denied bail, and held for several years each time in an attempt to silence him. We remember the recently deceased Professor Miseri Mugo and the late Professor Ali Manzui, Marizui, who were forced into exile. We remember Kenneth Matiba and Charles Rubia, who were detained without a trial for demanding for what is today is today a basic reality of Kenya's politics and one of the pillars of our republic, multi-party politics. Indeed, the folly of our past dictatorship is evidenced by the fact that Dr. William Tunga and Mohammed Ibrahim, who are also detained for demanding multi-party politics, survived to become Chief Justice and the Judge of the Supreme Court, respectively. As we soldier on, we condole with the families of all those killed by Ruto and celebrate them as matters of our liberation. We acknowledge all those being arrested and the child and acknowledge them as political prisoners we shall overcome. Signed by Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga as the Mio Laumoda One Kenya Coalition Party leader. You can share widely and let me know what you think about.